What's up everybody? My name is Mariana. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be dropping some nursing school knowledge on all of you guys today. Okay? Here we go. I think that sounded weird. <laughs> First things first, whatever type of scrub that you're going to get depends on what school that you're going that you're going to attend. So where can you get scrubs? I mean basically anywhere. Um, I had a little trouble finding the right style because you know I had to have this specific brand, right? And um, a lot of times whenever I would you know go into the store, I couldn't find what I was looking for or they didn't have enough sizes. That's I feel like a common issue that you're going to run um run across whenever you're trying to find um your scrubs but point is i went to like three or four different stores in person and none of them had what i was looking for uh, none of them had the colors that i was looking for so i finally decided to just go on the internet and voila of course i found what i was looking for i went to this website called www.scrubsandbeyond.com the thing that i like about this website is that it has a bunch of different um brands and then it has a bunch of different styles another really cool thing about this website is that they always have things on sale so how many scrubs should you buy for your first semester of nursing school i'm just going to tell you what i did and i'm going to tell you if it worked or not whenever i started nursing school i was balling on a budget okay well i'm still balling on a budget my first semester i had school um, twice a week and then i had one clinical so in total i was wearing my uniform three times in the week i bought two pairs of scrubs i don't really think it's necessary to get more than two pairs of scrubs the one thing that i do want to tell you is do not wear the same pairs of scrubs that you wear to clinicals to class hospitals are a very i mean they're full of you know people who are sick do not wear that scrub pair again before washing it wear it to the clinical go home take it off put it in a bag don't even put it with the rest of your clothes put it in a bag wash it and then you have you know a washed uniform for next time so i'm going to show you my uniform so these are my pants they're very stretchy the material is pretty thin which is nice because you know you're gonna be walking around and you're gonna get hot and all this stuff so it's pretty breathable you know I recommend getting pants that have like big pockets I was naive and going into nursing school I was like oh my god I want to look cute you know I want to like show off my body whatever well yeah that wasn't really a good idea because like it does have these pockets right here but it's not that big like they're not that big and then they're kind of tight on me as well like from the leg area so I really can't like hold a lot of stuff in here whenever you're going to go to clinicals you're going to be holding your stethoscope you're going to be needing pens you're going to be needing things to write take notes on whatever you know and I mean pants like this are not going to cut it you know um there's these like cargo style pants in a lot of like brands that have like pockets here next I'm going to show you my scrub tops I have two different kinds so first I have this one so it has like these little um strings on the back and then you just you know tie them like to adjust like accentuate your waist a little bit and then also it has these like little pockets here that's another thing that you should look for whenever you're buying your scrub tops the other top is this one so this one is a little bit more on like the fitted side this one is like a little you know has like a little scrunch in the back it just kind of like accentuates the waist more as well um, this one was more ex uh, expensive because obviously it's cuter they're going to want to charge more for it so i think i actually bought this one for like 18 dollars and it was also on sale um, so just a couple pointers on scrub tops they do come bigger than what they're advertised as um, unless it has like you know the little cinched um, thing in the back or whatever 
I do want to point out so I have like a smaller waist but then I have like a bigger like arm and um, it almost didn't fit my sleeves like my arms almost didn't fit in my sleeves because you know they were a little too big but it was fine at the end of the day so just make sure that whenever you are buying scrub tops you take that into consideration if you're going to buy them online and you can't try them on they are going to be a little loose just be aware of your body type whenever you're buying these shirts make sure that you're not wearing something that's going to be making you sweat all the time and if you are cold buy an undershirt and that way you don't have to be like carrying out carrying a jacket around and stuff because a lot of times it's just like extra baggage and it's just not necessary above all make sure that you're going to be comfortable because you are going to be going to clinicals for 12 hours a day but that's all i have for you today guys i will be doing some more videos on nursing don't forget to give me a like go ahead and subscribe on the red bottom down below if you have any comments concerns whatever just drop them down below let your girl know Bye.